show you how to calibrate your heading sensor. This is a new boat. We just moved the heading sensor from one vessel to this one. So we need to calibrate it. You can see our icon right here. If I start heading straight, you can see the boat is sideways here. So we need to calibrate it. Really easy to do. You can hit our pages button. Settings. Uh, we're on our system page here. And we want to go down to network. It shows all our goodies here. Device list. I'm going to hit that. Here's the GS25 antenna and compass. There's two built in one. I'm going to hit the compass. You can see it says configure calibrate. Hit calibrate. It gives us instructions. Calibration step for compass. Press calibrate. Start rotating the vessel. Complete a 390 degree rotation in 130 to 190 seconds. It says try to maintain a rate of turn of 2 to 3 degrees. It'll actually help us. It'll show us what our rate is here. So I'm going to get the boat moving first. You, have, you don't have to go real fast, but you have to go fast enough to finish it in about 2 or 3 minutes. So I'm going to idle up a little bit. My rate of turn is right around, let's see, let's get down to 3 degrees. I'm going to speed it up a little more. I have, a, I have a partner with me checking for traffic to help me out. Now I'm going to hit calibrate. It's calibrating. I just need to keep it here between 2.5 and 3.5. And again, I have a partner with me watching for traffic so I can do this. It's a little windy today, it's a little tough to do, but it's pretty important to have a proper working heading sensor. Calibration okay, we're, we're finished. Now when we X out, go to our chart, we look nice and straight now. You see it's a very easy process if you could do it on a lake on a calm day, that's probably the best. If not, hit the backwater when no one's out there. Make sure you have a partner spotting for you so you don't hit somebody. That's it. Stay safe on the water and leave a few for me.